All right, welcome back everyone. As you can see, we are now in early winter. And there's not a lot going on, but I do have a contract. And what I have to do is I have to take the skid steer and we have a transportation job. We've got to pick something up and we'll have to deliver it somewhere. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, though, because it's going to be getting dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook up this trailer. And we're going to go up to the vineyard to pick up the skid steer. So what we'll do is we'll take the skid steer up there, pick it up, probably load it right on the flatbed. And we can bring it and do it all in one job. Now, one thing you'll notice is that it is winter, so the vineyard is down. That won't be going until spring. Uh, grapes don't grow in the winter, of course. Let me put on my headlights here. And let's see here. Where's the best spot to put this? I think we'll do that right there like that. <clears throat> um... Get that all unfolded, and we'll grab the skid steer. Now, as I said, because this winter I don't have a lot going on, but there is one thing I want to do, and I want to get field 47 plowed. I want to plow that up, and I'm going to spread lime down, and I want to plant new grass. So next year we can get even even better yield, even though we're doing pretty good with it, but um, I don't know how to raise this up so I can get this. This isn't ideal, I know, but that's how it's going to have to be for now. Fold that back up. And I think we're going to put the sides up as well. No, 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 no. It don't like that. It don't like that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, back this up. Bring this back to the farm. And... So, yeah. Field 47. I want to plow that up. I want to put lime down. I want to plant new grass in that. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking of doing is because I kind of want to get the job done fairly quick. I'm thinking of maybe leasing a subsoiler and talking to Jean up at the store and seeing if maybe one of those hit, one of those tractors he has up there could handle the job or maybe if I can lease the tractor because I know my tractor doesn't have the horsepower to pull a subsoiler. So maybe he'll have something or I'll have to lease something. Um, I'm really not sure how that will go. Okay, so. We'll just leave that part there for now. And I think it's time to go in and get some food. Kind of just relax for the night. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so it is bright and early, and we fed the sheep, we cleaned them up. So now all we really have to do is just wait for this dang sun to come up a little bit. It is a little too dark for me to want to go and do that uh, transportation job. Although, I need to get this changed over, come to think of it. So that would be a good thing to do now. Let's just unfold that. And did that unfold? Yeah. Take this off there. We need to take the bucket off and we need to put the pallet fork back on.
Now, <clears throat> where did I put the pallet fork? That's... Oh, that's the question. Let me lower this first. And I can drop this off. Oh, I think I put the pallet fork right over here. Yeah, I did. Perfect. I want to do that. Drop that off, grab the pallet fork, and... I guess all we'll really do is just wait for that sun to come up. It's kind of chilly out. It's 37 degrees. It's definitely not a warm morning. <laughs> but, considering that I'm from upstate New York, uh, this is this is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. So, load this back up. And, yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to have to definitely raise that up again. Again, like I say, not the most ideal. But really have no choice. Really have no choice. And I should probably shut the lights off on that. Uh, Alright, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to have probably another cup of coffee or two. And we're going to let that sun come up, let it get a little bit daylight out, and get on with this day. Alright, so it's going on 8.30. It's getting a little more daylight out as you can see. So I think we're going to hop in the truck and we're going to head down there and pick up that transportation job. I believe it's right in town, actually. Let me just kind of bring up the map and see. Yeah, it's it's not that far away to pick it up. Uh, the drop-off point is actually, I believe, over on the other side of town. Which is perfect, because that's where we have to go anyway to speak to Jean. Um, no, I need to get on this road here. Yeah, it's, it's off the main road. I should know that. <laughs> Streets are pretty... Pretty dead this morning, I gotta say. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I feel like I just passed it. Um, Did I? It, I feel like it's right around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Now, I have no idea what these are. But, that's not my job. So, okay, of course. Um, okay, okay, jeez, calm down. I'm moving. Don't have to be rude. So I guess we'll just unload this here. That should be out of people's way. A little close to that car. That's alright. And yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And of course, now that I'm ready to do the job, look at all the traffic. <laughs> Never fails. So this will be an easy, easy job. Nothing to this. Usually picking these up are the worst part. Although it does look like these are on pretty level ground. Which is uh, something that I could definitely appreciate. Especially considering some of the other jobs uh, that I had, um, they weren't. Ah, see, these are going to give me issues. I 
I get these just right. Just a little bit narrow. There we go. I think we got that one. At least the pallets are facing the right direction. Side. Now this is going to be tricky because I had to load these up on the flatbed. And I'm sure there's going to be vehicles coming. But they're just going to have to wait. Just going to have to wait. And you know what? I don't know... <clears throat> I don't think we're going to be able to fit another one on there. Um, hmm. So, I don't have room to put it on the trailer because I need to bring this. Let me, uh, let me park this here for a second. And, I think this is the office. Let me go and knock on the door here and see if uh, I can talk to someone here. Okay, so, uh, I asked the foreman in there, and he said that they're, they're not fragile, that I can stack them up on top of each other. So that is absolutely perfect. Because otherwise, um, I don't know what I would have to do. I'd have to make a second trip, and I don't really want to do that, guys. You know, these, uh, these machines I have are incredibly good on diesel. Okay, like I've been going on two full years now, and I haven't had to fill up one vehicle, and so that's pretty incredible. But I still don't want to waste the time to have to come back and make two trips. So this actually worked out perfect because. The store will be open. I could drop these off. Run up there and take a look and see what he has. Of course, again, I'm going to have to make two trips because. Oh, okay, what is going on here? They kind of just float on... Oh, that's not... That's not ideal. That is not ideal. But we're going to strap it down. And that should be good. It's not going anywhere. I just really want to get out of the road. Load this back up. And you know... I don't know why I didn't think of this before. But I should probably just... Back this on. That's probably the better way to do it. And, of course, my phone's going off. That's just a uh, text message. I'll take a look at that in a minute. Phone's always going off at the worst times, I tell you. Okay, close that up. Take a look at my phone real quick and see what this is all about. Uh, okay, it's just Regis... I know if I can meet with him tomorrow morning. That's not a big problem. Um, I do know that he said he has something he wanted to talk to me about. Now, I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what he has in mind. But we'll definitely get back to him, and we'll have a meeting with him um, tomorrow. Let's see. Probably not the smoothest way to go, but this is the path I'm going to choose. 
because I think I can use these farm tracks to cut over to the delivery point. Um, I'm going to try to go up the side of this field. This field is withered anyway, so I don't think it's a big deal. Actually, there's a farm track right through here. I'm going to get some scratches on the truck, but that's all right. That's what it's for. It's a farm truck. <laughs> We're not looking to win any shows with it, that's for sure. And uh, I'm actually glad I bought this truck. It's It's been really handy already. So what I think we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to go this way, I believe. Now, anytime... Look at that. There's a couple boats down there. Yeah. Well, that's good timing. Now, anytime I have to deliver anything down here, it's usually somewhere really tight. So, where do I have to drop this off exactly? It's looking like... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to check. The main map. Okay, so it looks like it's probably behind the animal dealer, so I think I'm close. So I'm going to try to go this way, I believe. I hope this isn't a dead end. I don't think it is. No, it definitely goes around. The biggest issue is finding somewhere to park. That I'm not in everybody's way. <laughs> um, this place definitely doesn't look busy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to think I'm going to just... Park up in here right now. Shut that off. And we're going to need to take a walk to see where I have to deliver this. Alright, so after we took that little walk, um, I'm guessing it has to be delivered at the animal dealer, actually, so... I have no idea what this could be. Put out the ramps. And we'll deliver it and see what happens. I hope that's it. I'm pretty sure that's where I have to deliver it. Oh, and I just damaged the truck. Beautiful. Um, I wonder if I could get both of these off at one time. This is probably going to be a disaster. Ah, uh, see? That's just... Okay, I think that's going to work. Um, that is one hell of a... That's one hell of a curb right there, I'll tell you that. Okay, so let's... Try to get this down to the animal dealer without spilling it. Sorry, dude, didn't mean to crush your feet there. Okay, let's get that a little lower. So I'm guessing it should should be here. Um, may have to. Huh. <laughs> 
There we go. Not the best, but job is done, so let's just collect that. There we go. A little over a thousand dollars for that job. That's not too bad at all. Um, you know, actually, the store is right there. So I think I'm just going to leave the truck where it is, and I'm going to drive the skid steer over here. And we'll just have a quick talk with him and see what he says. Alright, so, we did lease the subsoiler, and the subsoiler that we have, he said that the Fiat Agri back here should have plenty of power to run it. Now, we lease this. This is pretty cheap to lease. It's not going to take us that long. And if we went to Fiat Agri, it's going to be like $500 to rent this, which I'm fine with. That's not a lot. Um, insurance and everything like that. So that's the subsoiler. So I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to tell him that, uh, yeah, we're going to take the Fiat Agri as well. All right, so we rented that for 500 We leased that. So I'm already go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. I'm going to put this back on the truck. And... The next time you see me, I should be in that Fiat Agri, heading up to Field 47 so we can get that take care of. Now, I don't really care if I get it seeded today. I just want to get it all, all subsoiled and ready to go. Um, we can we can seed it anytime. I just want to get the ground broken up before we get any snow. So I'm going to load this up, and I will see you guys in a little bit. up this Fiat Agri and this is probably one of my favorite tractors. Um, just such a great tractor. Okay, well, I'll stop that there. I'm going to shut this gate so we have room. There we go. So like I said guys, I just really want to get this taken care of before the snow flies. And uh, even though we're getting a pretty good yield from it, let me take that map off. You know, you can always get a better yield. So I thought I would just plow this up and spread some lime on it, plant some new fresh grass, and see how we do next year.
right, we're doing pretty good, actually. This is just about done. One more pass should do it. And it's actually just early evening, but because we are in the winter time, the days are shorter, so it is already dark. I probably won't return this to the store tonight. Um, I'll probably get up the pressure washer and I'll clean all this stuff up before I bring it back anyway because I want it looking decent the K subsoiler worked fantastic worked really well let's just get out and take a look at that did a really good job and this tractor what can I say? This tractor is just a beast. Oh, gotta open that gate. I keep forgetting about that. If he would have had one of these at the shop, I probably would have gotten this instead of the Hurleyman, but I do like the Hurleyman. This has been a really good tractor. So we're just going to park this up over here for now. Shut off the lights. Good lord. So dark out. So I think that's where we're going to end this episode today, guys. Um, tomorrow is a new day. And tomorrow I have that meeting with Regis. I believe he wants me there at like 10 a.m. I think that's what the text said. Which that's, that works out well because then I can... Take care of my sheep and... Well, actually, that's about it. I could probably put some lime on that field. I am kind of curious as to what it is that he has in mind because... Um, he... These are such small fields. Like, I know the fields he has. So, I don't think it has anything to do... With his farmland here. Ah. That was great. But, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll have to find it out tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you're all doing well. And if I can just get this. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're staying healthy. And we'll see you next time.